So we're kicking off our awesome Florida trip here at SeaWorld Orlando. This is my first time ever here. I've been to SeaWorld San Diego before, but that was once I, I think it was in elementary school when I did that. So it's been decades since I've been to a SeaWorld park. So we're here to enjoy some awesome roller coasters, of course, but also get to see all the aquatic marine life. And this should be an amazing day. One of my good friends, Chris, will be joining us for part of today. But in the meantime, we checked out the Caribbean flamingos on display right next to Manta. All right, so we're doing Mako here. And this is actually my second ride. We're in the back row. I've got Chris over here. He probably can't really see him very well. But we're heading up the lift. This should be a pretty awesome ride. Manta was the highlight of the day when it came to roller coasters. I've never had the chance to ride B&M's flying coaster model, and Manta did not disappoint. A very graceful experience minus the ridiculously intense but amazing pretzel. While Aaron rode Manta, me and Sam checked out the incredible aquarium located in Manta's ride building. One of the many animals we saw was this owl, who was with their animal caretaker meeting guests. I'm in love with you. One of our first exhibit stops was to see the walruses and beluga whales in the Arctic exhibit. These animals are so graceful and I really hope to see them in the wild someday. Sam was too short to ride most rides, but he loved a trip on the Sesame Street train. One of Sam's favorite animals is sharks, and to have such an incredible close encounter was such an amazing experience. All right, we're doing Icebreaker next, which is a premier launch roller coaster with a shuttle launch and this interesting transfer track. And we have Chris who is glasses at the moment. So, but this will be interesting. Never done anything like this. It'll be a new, uh, new experience. Ooh. Oh, that's a good kick actually. Woo, the launch. Yeah. yeah. Woo. Oh yeah. Woo, oh, whoa, I, I yeah. felt that weightless in yeah. there. Good air time. Breaker surprised me with the abundant pops of ejector airtime. This swing launch roller coaster was truly a blast and a must do for anyone coming to SeaWorld. Manatees are always such a treat to see. Sam loves seeing these gentle giants along with the graceful sea turtles. Touching a stingray is always a must do anytime you can experience an exhibit like this.
Kraken was the first roller coaster added to SeaWorld Orlando. This B&M floorless coaster still packs a good punch over 20 years later. All right, we're doing Kraken, which is a nice B&M floorless roller coaster with seven inversions. See how this goes. So this is our, both our first time here to SeaWorld Orlando. Erin, what would you think of it? I have never been to SeaWorld Orlando before and I've only done SeaWorld California Me once too. when I was little. Me um, too. When I think of SeaWorld, I think of animals. So I was pleasantly surprised at the number of rides that are here, especially thrill rides and even little kid rides over in Sesame Land for Sam. Now you've been doing like a lot bigger roller coasters than you're used to. What do you think of like Mako and Icebreaker and that, all these uh, big roller coasters here? Mako is definitely on my top something list. Maybe Sorry, top 10. Manta. Mako's oh, closed, no. sadly. Manta is uh, definitely on maybe a top 10 list. The, the way the seat sits is incredible, very comfortable. I was worried that it wouldn't be because it doesn't look very comfortable when you're watching it. But uh, shoulder pads were incredibly comfortable and a uh, very smooth ride. I very much enjoyed that one. Icebreaker, a little more intense than things I've done in the past. Uh, but my big thing is drops. I don't like the big drops, and uh, that one did not have a massive drop. So the airtime and the intensity did not bother me at all. I liked that one a lot. We just got to see these emperor penguins all out throughout this experience. And it's 32 degrees in here. It's very cold, but I don't know. This, it was a long wait to see this, but it was amazing. The penguins were an extremely playful mood zipping around in the water everywhere you looked. Once our time was up in the main penguin exhibit, we were still able to watch the playful penguins thanks to this large glass window. We sadly missed the opening of SeaWorld's newest roller coaster, Pipeline, by about a month. This new age stand-up B&M coaster looks to be a lot of fun and something to look forward to on our next trip back here. Well, as a wrap from SeaWorld, that was a blast. This park actually really surprised me. I knew that they had a couple of roller coasters and a lot of them really high class, but um, they really did surprise me on how good some of them were. And honestly, their best ride wasn't even open today, unfortunately. Mako is being repainted, but there was so much for Sam to do as a toddler where he got to see so many animals. The emperor penguins were extremely, extremely impressive to see. It was worth the 30 minute wait just to get into that area. But this park was actually really outstanding and I really do want to come back, especially because they have new roller coasters that are being built. Pipeline's just about to open and apparently next year they're going to build another one right next to Manta that's under construction right now. So they're rapidly expanding and definitely want to come out here whenever we come out to Orlando again. Thank <laughs> you.